There's a lot of controllers on the market. Unfortunately, there is no average hand, yet all controllers are designed for standard hands. However, if you have a bunch of bananas or a pack of bratwurst for fingers, this video is for you. We're gonna go over some inexpensive modifications you can do to your existing controller or some premium controllers on the market for big handed individuals. Let's get this thing. Hardy Stallions and Stallionettes, welcome to the Gamer Heaven. I'm your host, AK40 Kevin. So the first thing we're going to address is modifying your existing controller. Maybe you're balling on a budget, as the kids say, or maybe you just don't need features like back paddles, trigger locks, magnetic thumbsticks, etc. Now, the Sony DualSense controller, as well as the Microsoft Xbox One and Xbox Series controllers, are generally acceptable for medium to large handed individuals. However, if you have some big hands, these two items I highly recommend picking up. One would be a tall set of thumbstick caps. They can either be control freaks like these or there are generic models it will save you some cash those will be linked in the description below and silicone ie rubber grips like this which not only will give you more grip but actually make the controller noticeably thicker now they do have these grip extensions for dualshock 4 controllers dual sense controllers xbox one and series controllers all those will be labeled and listed in the description below as for thumbsticks i personally recommend this kit from play vital because if you are going to be using this with somebody else maybe a spouse or friend that has smaller hands you can swap these on and off and for you big handed individual you have these very very big thumbstick caps here i mean these are huge which definitely elongates where your thumbs rest and gives you a lot more control next up if you have big index fingers perhaps your fingers are too big for the triggers to where they slide off that is a problem a company called extreme rate which i have reviewed and tested a lot of their products on this channel do have triggers for the ps4 and 5 that stick onto the triggers and basically extend these out to create more of a lip so if you have some big old fingers you're not going to be sliding off the edge now, if you're in the market for a premium controller, something with swappable thumbsticks, trigger locks, paddles, etc., then there are a couple of good options for you if you have large hands. Sharing my screen over here, the first one I would recommend has been on the market for years, and that would be the Scuff Impact. During the entire eighth generation of the home consoles, i.e. the PS4, Xbox One, and Nintendo Switch, people that preferred the Xbox One controller but were PlayStation 4 owners would go for the Scuff Impact. It's actually larger by several millimeters in the bottom of the shell. It's actually kind of flared out a little bit and it fits large hands very very good not to mention it does come with swappable thumbsticks with these little impact rings get taller sticks so you can actually forego getting control freaks or thumbstick caps which is pretty cool the other one i do recommend is from hex gaming now this actually comes as a kit from a company called extreme rate so if you actually want to disassemble a stock ps4 controller and do the installation it doesn't require any soldering unless you want to be able to remap l3 and r3 so the analog sticks which most people don't because your thumbs are already on the thumbsticks you generally want to remap the four face buttons to the back paddles so you can constantly keep your thumbs on the sticks now the extreme rate kit is about 40 45 dollars or you can buy it already assembled as a all-in-one controller from this company called hex gaming which is indeed a sister company of extreme rate it's 150 for just the plain white or black which is actually the same exact price as the scuff impact however the scuff impact is not sold on amazon and you will have to pay out of pocket for shipping as where over here you can buy these on hex's website or they also have an amazon store that has free shipping so if you're a prime member that's your free two-day shipping right there so the scuff impact as well as the hex hyper over here are actually bigger than an xbox one or dualsense controller but that might actually be a little bit too big for you and if that is the case and you are on ps5 or pc i recommend getting a controller from aim they are a little bit pricey but they are literally the most premium controller i've tested and i have tested dozens of controllers and in case you're curious about the measurements how a dualsense controller compares to an xbox one controller because i was quite curious myself let's go ahead and pull this over to here so the playstation dual sense is 4.2 inches high an xbox one controller is four will round down four flat a width of 6.3 inches on the playstation controller 6.02 on the xbox controller and a depth of 2.6 inches compared to a depth of 2.4 inches so overall the dual sense controller is bigger than the xbox one controller the PlayStation DualShock 4 is a relatively small controller, especially for North American hands. So there were a lot of options out there that are bigger. But the Xbox One, there really isn't a whole lot of options. One that you do have.
have though that is almost comically large is the Duke. The original Xbox launched in North America with this massive controller that was called the Duke. Overseas in Europe and Asia, they actually got what's called the S-Type controller, which we got about six to eight months uh, after launch that is substantially smaller. But a company called Hyperkin actually makes a wired controller that is reminiscent of the Duke, and it is absolutely massive. So if you do have very large hands and an Xbox One controller with those silicon rubber grips and thumbstick extensions that I have recommended to you guys isn't big enough, this is a good option for you. But it is important to note that this is wired. I do repeat, you will be tethered by a cord. So again, summing up, if you want to spend about 20 or $30 and just modify your existing controllers, I would recommend some kind of silicon extensions or grips like that with some thumbstick caps. Control Freaks are the most expensive, but they've been around the longest and they have the nicest, cushiest grip on them. But me personally, I do recommend the Play Vital Kit because, well, it comes with multiple heights or sizes for the same price as one set of Control Freaks. And then if you have massive index fingers that are actually slipping off the sides of the triggers, there are those extension kits from Extreme Rate and they're super easy to install. That's just double-sided adhesive that you stick on there. And then we went over some premium options if you don't mind shelling out a little bit more cash for a more premium experience. That is gonna do it, Stallions. If you enjoyed this video, liking it will help it to get seen by more gamers. This information will reach and assist them as well. Maybe they got a big old set of hands on them too. Subscribe for more content like this. I cover news in the gaming community and industry as well as tutorials helping you get set up streaming and YouTubing. And I'll see you tomorrow because I upload daily. Peace.